Where are we at, Jonah? We're in Denmark. Oh my God, I forget it. <laughs> Where are we at? We're right at now. Copenhagen, Denmark. The, the buildings are beautiful around us. The architecture here is absolutely incredible. More fountains, beautiful square. All right, made it to Tivoli. We'll see what it's about. All right, we got the ride pass. It was 559 Krohn, which is about $50 American. And here's the entrance. Starting to feel that Disneyland vibe, but there's gardens everywhere. It's beautiful. This is pretty nice. day in Copenhagen 6 30 bright and early the sun came up at four o'clock everyone's still sleeping I'm gonna go head to the town catch the train and get some Danish pastries Woo. also gonna go look at the colorful buildings all right 350 got the ticket heading to New Howen on the train all right that was a quick train ride about five six minutes and now a 10 minute walk to Anderson Bakery. It's very quiet on the streets. I mean, it is 6.30, 7, but it's super quiet. And there's bikes literally everywhere. Getting closer to the bakery, a couple hundred feet and I can smell the fresh bread already. 6.30 in the morning. Here it is, Corner Shop Anderson Bakery. Nice logo. There you go. All right, here's the partial unboxing. I already opened it, but beautiful pink box. Oh, yeah. I, I butchered all these names, so I just pointed, but it looks the two chocolate things, cream and vanilla cream. Oh, boy, here we go. This one was called the triple chocolate. Wow, I love Denmark. The local in front of me ordered this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try that. It looks like a cinnamon roll. Delicious, it smells, I know it's gonna be delicious. It's like a cinnamon roll, my favorite. Get a close up on that bad boy. Mm. Now this looks like a classic Danish pastry, what I wanted to try. We're in Copenhagen, so I have to get a Danish pastry. Mm. Way better than Costco. It's a nice, quiet, cool morning just sitting outside the bakery. No one on the street, nice weather, it's nice. All right, last one is this huge, I don't even know what it's called, but it looked crazy and has cream in it, so. Update, got to the center, and it's mops. It's sweet, fruity sweet, and it's delicious. Next part of the journey is to go to New Holland, check out the buildings, get a meal. I want to try a hot dog since everyone's eating hot dogs out of hot dog places. And then I'll head back to the hotel. But I'm really excited to see the buildings. Super popular, just as popular as Tivoli. And explore the city on foot. It's a 30 minute walk and let's go. Those pastries though, man, that was otherworldly. That was great. I would come back to Denmark, Copenhagen, just for these pastries at Anderson Bakery. Crossing over this beautiful bridge. It's pretty gnarly.
I guess I made it, 30 minute walk. It's cool, it's cool, the canal's really cool. There's lots of boats, a lot of action going on. This is the spot. All right, sick moment, we made it. One of the most iconic spots in Copenhagen, probably the most iconic spot. It's beautiful, it's cool. No tourists right now, early bird gets the worm. Cool spot. Another iconic landmark checked off the bucket list. Pretty damn cool. Unfortunately, everything is closed, but it's kind of nice to see the busy tourist area, not at peak times. Now we're heading to Frederick's Church because it looks beautiful and it's really close by, only an eight minute walk. And we're gonna just look through the streets of Copenhagen. Wow, here it is, Frederick's Church. This thing is massive, it's beautiful. It's eight o'clock, they're ringing the bell. All right, I'm gonna sit at this park bench, take a nice second, relax, enjoy this beautiful little garden with another statue, and tell you a quick story. I left at 6.30 this morning, Monday. Didn't have to poop, but for the last hour, it's nine o'clock now, for the last hour, I had to poop. I honestly thought I was gonna poop on the side of the road. I couldn't hold it. I went to about four different toilets on Google Maps and Apple Maps. I even went to the train station to see if they had toilets there. They did not have a toilet station in Chris Christhaven. That was brutal. And I asked people, where can I find a toilet? They're like, you gotta go outside, you gotta go outside. Also note that it's 8.30 and none of the restaurants are open. So no public restrooms are open because no one on the streets. No restaurants are open to go and at least buy something and get and use their public restroom. There's no bathrooms in the metro. There are no public restrooms anywhere. But there is one place that saved me in all of Copenhagen that I've used twice already, that there is a public bathroom. That place is the great McDonald's. Also note that the bathrooms are gender inclusive, so there's also chicks in there. That was interesting. At the train station, I'm gonna head back to the hotel. It's been a fun 24 hours almost. Uh, gonna rest up for the cruise. Thanks for watching, Copenhagen was amazing. Can't wait to go back and bring Juliana. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.